and this is gonna sound crazy, but it's just a bunch of junk behind a building. Some of the best abstract paintings I've ever done have come from junk piles. So when you're out riding around with your camera, we're always looking for that beautiful National Geographic monument kind of moment. You know, this, the, the, you know, the horsetail falls and the Grand Canyon, that kind of stuff. These are beautiful things. Don't forget the little things on the side of the road, like the trash piles behind buildings and just garbage, because there are so many wonderful, beautiful shapes and textures. I would never paint this as a painting itself, because it is just a pile of trash behind a building. But if you stop and look at this, there are beautiful lights and darks, there's beautiful angles, there's obliques, uh, there's a lot of positive shapes, a lot of negative shapes, even the colors are somewhat interesting. This little tool is called a zoom finder. It's a, it's a fantastic gadget. I have two apertures, one is square and one is rectangular. And I can move this back and forth and change the size of the aperture and lay this on a painting. Now, I'm going to lay it on this, this photograph and let's just see if we can't find something that looks interesting to, be an abstract, to, to make an abstract painting. Well, the question comes up invariably at workshops of what do you mean something that looks interesting? Well, how do you describe what is interesting? What I'm looking for is diversity in shapes. I want all four corners to be different sizes and different shapes. I want a strong focal point or center of interest. And I want a lot of connecting shapes to kind of let the eye kind of move through the painting and take you over to that, that focal point. Now, on this piece, this shape right here is pretty interesting. And if we can zoom in closely on that, what you'll see is we have just a lot of darks, there's some beautiful darks, but we also have a good variety of shapes. Uh, some are vertical, some are horizontal. There's even, a, we could even add a couple of angles, which are called obliques, which are very, very powerful in an abstract painting, or any painting for that matter. And we've got just a nice, just overlapping play of, of, of shapes. Even the colors are not too bad. I'll probably change the colors a little bit to make the piece more vibrant, but the colors in themselves are, are actually pretty strong. That gives me a good idea for a starting point. Now, just for fun, I'm going to look around a little bit on this painting. And there, there, are so, there are so many potential paintings in this photograph. If I don't see something I like there, I can turn the piece up like this and look again. Remember, the photograph is not important. What's important is the shapes that are contained within the photographs. So now I'm looking for even more interesting shapes. I can make it smaller if I want to. Find some interesting designs. That's kind of interesting. Turn it upside down, do the same thing. Just keep looking. But it doesn't have to be a photograph of a junk pile. You can take almost any photograph you have and do the same thing. Turn it upside down, turn it sideways, and just keep looking until you find something that's interesting. Let's go back to that first design I had. So I'm going to turn this back around. That's a, that's a pretty interesting design. I just like the, uh, I like the composition of it. I specifically like this area right in here. Now let's make that my center of interest. That falls right within my rule of thirds. My rule of thirds means if you divide into thirds horizontally and thirds vertically, any place those lines cross can be a good focal point. Well, that's right within that rule of thirds area. So I'm going to take that and just kind of uh, isolate that area and move.